Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, the longevity business, health challenges, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program and everybody who's on a a prescription drug, a chronic long-term prescription drug, should be thinking about weaning themselves off. If you're on a prescription drug, not only are you increasing the toxic load on your body, not only are you depriving yourself or, or running risks of nutritional deficiencies as nutrients go to process those drugs, not only are you not taking care of the problem, even worse, you're still doing the stuff that caused the problem in the first place, accelerating your demise, even if your cholesterol score is lower, or even if your blood pressure number is lower, or even if you've controlled any symptom by taking your prescription poison. You still are breaking down because you haven't corrected the problem. And that is the real issue with prescription drugs. They don't, not only do they not take care of the problem, they cause the problem to get worse over time because they keep us from, from correcting them. There's a healing power built into us, people. There is a healing power built into the human body, and we want to learn how to access it, not go outside ourselves to somebody to fix us, but access our own internal healing powers. Now, I'm not talking here about traumas, and sometimes we need help with traumas, but I'm talking about chronic long-term breakdown. We want to learn to access our own healing power. That's what this is about, and be wary of anybody who tells you they can take care of it for you, i.e. your doctor. All right. 844 is our number. You're listening to Pharmacist Ben on the bright side. We're talking about the glycocalyx on our last program. There are four main types of stuff, if you will, that make up the body. We call them tissues. You've got the beef which is basically a complex of <laughs> connective tissue and muscle tissue, two types of tissue. It's the beef, I call it. When we're aging, that beef shrivels up. If you ever look at the bodies exhibit at the museum where they have the, they have the bodies without the, without the skin, that stuff you're looking at is the beef. That's the connective tissue and the muscle tissue, which ra- are two types of tissue that are wrapped around each other. The connective tissue is like the white stuff in your steak. The red stuff is the muscle tissue. We eat the muscle tissue. That's what flesh meat is. It's the muscle tissue. The connective tissue is uh, uh, what gives meat its flavor. And the connective tissue is what gives its meat, its, uh, the beef in the body, the muscle tissue in the body. The elect- well, the, it carries the electrical charge. It doesn't give it the spark. That's the nervous system. And that's what kind of wires the whole thing. And then the, it's all covered with, with a covering tissue, which is special tissue called epithelial tissue, and that's the body. Got the middle part, which is about 70% or 80%, the beef, the connective tissue, and the muscle tissue. It's electrified with, uh, with uh, nervous tissue or sparked with nervous tissue. The electrical charge is carried by the connective tissue. The connective tissue, by the way, not only connects, obviously that's what it does, one of the things it does, but the connective tissue also feeds everything. It nourishes everything. The connective tissue is where toxins deposit. 
the connective tissue is, is what, what a lot of the signs of aging that we hate so much are really defects in the connective tissue. Wrinkles, osteoporosis, joint pain, the hunched over look that older people have. That's all about the connective tissue. In the skincare business, connective tissue is the very essence of how you have youthful, beautiful skin is working on the connective tissue. That's what retinol does. That's what vitamin C does. So you got the beef, which is the connective tissue, muscle tissue. It's electrified with the nervous tissue. It's all candy coated with the epithelial tissue. And these four types of stuff that make up the whole body, they themselves are made up of four kinds of stuff. So there's four building blocks that make up the four building blocks. There's four building blocks that make up the four tissues. And these four building blocks are the DNA, protein, fats, and carbs. So you got DNA, protein, fats, and carbs, and they make up the whole body via the connective tissue, the nervous tissue, the muscle tissue, and the surface tissue, or the epithelial tissue, they call it. Now we've, and by the way, they don't call it carbs. Scienti scientists don't call carbs carbs. That's a more of a food term, carbohydrates. Carbs in the scientific or biochemistry, I should say, world are called glycans. So you've got DNA, which is actually not even called DNA. It's called nucleic acids. We'll call it DNA. You've got protein. Well, it's really amino acids and fats, which are really fatty acids. And then you've got uh, the carbs. or They call them glycans. That's what we've been talking about is the glycans. The glycans play a major role in every single health challenge there is, period. There is no such thing as a disease without some kind of defect or some kind of issue that's going wrong with the glycans, especially the ones that are on top of the cell, that coat the cell. That's where most of the glycans are. They're on top of the cell. They're coating the cell. I don't know if most, but a huge amount of them. They coat the cell. It's called the glycocalyx, which means in Latin the, the sugar coat or sugar mask. And the sugar mask protects the cell and it protects the cell membrane. Remember, the cell is like a little gem. It's like a little crystalline electrical system. It's really kind of mind-boggling, a cell. A cell is a little blob of jelly. If you looked at it under a microscope, you'd see a little blob. That's what it is. We think, you know, from high school biology, it's, we, a lot of us, including myself, sometimes think of the cell as a circle with stuff inside of it. But it's important to kind of remember that it's not a circle with stuff inside of it. That's a cross section. It's really a blob with stuff inside of it. But that blob is three-dimensional. The circle is two-dimensional. So the two-dimensional circle does not reveal the real nature of a cell. The cell is not just a blob, people. It's a crystalline blob. It's a little living crystal. And because it's a living, living, because it's a little living crystal, and because we're made up of cells, we are living crystals. All of life is crystalline, including its most fundamental form, which is a cell. And so what's a crystal? We all heard of the term crystals, you know, new age crystals, and wave the crystal wand over your whatever. And you know, crystals have this kind of woo-woo, pseudo-spiritual implication, but a crystal is a, really sci is a scientific term. Crystal means, a, a crystal is anything that has a three-dimensional repeating pattern, in biology anyway. A three-dimensional repeating pattern. It's like a chessboard, except it's three-dimensional. Imagine a three-dimensional chessboard. A chessboard that has, that's not just flat, but now has, uh, has depth to it. That's a crystal. And this chessboard kind of structure allows it to hold on to energy and release energy. And that's what makes a crystal a crystal, or that's what gives a crystal its, its kind of power. Whether you're talking new age crystals or whether you're talking biological crystals, crystals hold on to energy and they release them. They can hold on to energy and release them. This ability to hold on to energy, which by the way is, me is measured in or is described in pieces of energy called electrons. We'll just say, and we'll just call it energy. So it holds on to this energy, and releases this energy, and that is what gives the crystal, in, the, the crystal its power in nature is by holding on to energy, releasing energy, holding on to it, releasing it, holding on to it, releasing it, you get an ability to send signals like Morse code. The biological system has figured out how to use the crystalline nature of a cell to send signals like Morse code and these signals make everything happen in the cell and in life. And these, this crystalline structure requires energy. Without energy, that crystalline structure can't maintain its form. That's how we get sick. Where does the energy come from? The mighty 90 essential nutrients, food, as well as oxygen. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back after this. All right, we're back. 
on the bright side. Farms is Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number. We are on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, and 24-7 on the archive pages at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. You can purchase your longevity products off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the websites or by calling 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Also, I want to remind you to check out our Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Transdermal C Serum and Truth Transdermal C Balm and our new Truth Biomimetic Mineral Mist made with folic minerals as well as high aluronic acid. One of the surfaces, uh, skin surfaces, most important components, high aluronic acid as well as uh, lactate and amino acids in our Truth, trans, uh, Truth Biomimetic Priming Missile to go along with our Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, all up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. So the cell's a little crystal. The cell is a little crystalline system, and it's passing, it, it's doing its business, and it does its business in this incredible, instantaneous way. There are literally millions of things happening in a cell every nanosecond. And a different thing is happening every nanosecond. Think about it. How does this occur? It occurs via the action of electromagnetics and electricity. That's how, that's what accounts for the instantaneity, how it doesn't take any time really for all of these things to happen. They're happening so fast. It's all happening with magnetics, electricity. Electricity and magnetics are basically the same thing. Electromagnetics. That's how it's happening, through electromagnetics. And it, all of this takes energy. This entire crystalline bioelectrical information processing system is highly energy dependent. The energy has to be constantly coming in and the energy has to be constantly processed correctly inside the cell. This is, this is a miracle that it happens at all. You know, I mean, when you think about all the things that have to, all the chemistry that has to go on and all the constant streaming of energy that has to, of electricity that has to take place in order to fuel all these reactions, all this chemistry, it's pretty astounding that it happens at all. It's, you can see how the system would break down, especially if it's not constantly being fed with, with electricity. And we're not doing it. We're not feeding it with electricity. And food these days doesn't have the electricity. You gotta make sure you're eating fresh food. You gotta make sure you're eating living food. You got to make sure you're eating food that has specialized electrical devices. I don't want to get all electricity. I, I'm not, I don't really know electricity that well, but I know what a harmonic resonance device is. It's a little highly tuned vibrating system. See, there's the, you get energy. That's one thing. But then the energy is finely tuned with super, super, super ridiculously dense energy compounds called vitamins as well as minerals. The vitamins and the minerals, particularly the vitamins, are like super highly charged, finely tuned electrical systems that adjust all that energy. You can't just have streaming energy. You can't just have pure energy. It's got to be the way the biological system is set up is it's modulated, it's controlled, it's, it's fine-tuned by the vitamins and the minerals. Without the vitamins and the, and the minerals, you just have the energy. That's not going to get you any pro. That's not going to get you any body. That's not going to get you any real chemistry. That's just noise. But the fine-tuning is done by the vitamins and the minerals. That's why you gotta have lots of vitamins and minerals to go with your energy. And that's why nutritional supplementation can be so helpful because it gives you those fine-tuning elements, the vitamins and the minerals, and the fatty acids, and the amino acids. Basically the vitamins and the minerals though. So the whole thing, this whole crystalline system is coated with a bunch of sugar. Now, it's the whole system, the whole cellular system, this liquid crystal system is coated with skin called the membrane, and that's ridiculously important, and I haven't finished talking about that. That's so darn important. But the whole thing, the membrane itself is covered with another membrane of sugars that we just discovered or we just really started to understand maybe 30 years ago. They first started to, the first inklings of this, this covering, this glycan covering on top of cells came around in the 1930s, but really started getting going around 30 years ago or so. We really started to understand this, the importance of these sugars in general. It's called glycobiology. 
and glyconutrition. So the glycocalyx. Anytime you hear glyc, you got sugar. G-Y-L-I-C, glyc, is the uh, Greek term for sweet. So glyc, glycerin, glycobiology, glycation, or glycosylation, which is a reaction that happens with sugars. G-L-Y-C means sugar. This glycocalyx is covering the sugar coatings like a, a bunch of antennas on top of the membrane. How amazing is this? On top of the membrane, the cell is coated with feelers, with antenna that look like, and they're wave. <laughs> if you look at them, they're waving constantly. They're constantly moving. These waving, it's like waves of, of hairs. They're not hairs, they're, they're, they're uh, sugars, but it looks like hairs and they're waving on top of every cell and they provide the cell with a major, major role in health. And, or they, they play a major role in the health of the cell. In fact, like I said, there's not a single disease that doesn't involve some kind of defect at, the, at this level, a breakdown at this level. According to uh, the U U.S. National Academy of Health, glycans are directly involved in the pathophysiology, that is the, de the development, of every major disease. You cannot be sick without that. These glycans are responsible for telling cells, for talking to each other. They talk to the cells. They say friend or foe. The sugar mask is like an ID tag. The, the glycocalyx is cell identification. In the body, the cell has to recognize good cells from enemies, from parasites, from viruses, from invaders. And this glycocalyx is these sugars, this sugar forest on the top of a cell. It's like one of those name badges that says, you know, you go to, one of the, you go to a meeting or whatever, you, they get a little sticker you put on your, on your chest. Hi, I'm Ben. That's what the glycocalyx is. It tells the cells, hi, I'm liver cell. Hi, I'm bone cell. Hi, I'm your heart. I'm good. I'm a good guy. And every once in a while, the cell sneaks in, and it's got the wrong name tag, or it's written in the wrong language. It's written in Russian or something. And uh, it gets attacked. It gets eliminated. That's how it gets eliminated. The cells, they're actually scout cells. You don't, I, I cannot, uh, this is the most amazing thing, and I don't understand why we're not just all completely blown away by all of these things that are happening. You have scout cells, sentinel cells, that are looking around for cells that have the wrong ID on them, and they mark them for destruction. They don't destroy them themselves, these sentinel cells. They mark them. They put a little sticker, they, they put a little tag on them, and then the defense system looks around for things that have tags on them and kills them. This is all going on inside our bodies. So these, these little antenna, these little feelers, these glycocalyx, they're made up of sugars. They're made up of dietary sugars. They're made up of the stuff we're, we're supposed to be eating. This is where glyconutrition comes from. This is where the importance of glyconutrition comes from. Glyconutrition or glyco, the glycocalyx also plays a really important role in wound healing. Oh yeah, heart disease, that's not a cholesterol problem. It's a glycocalyx problem. The glycocalyx, the sugars on the, on the cells that line your blood vessels are whacked out. It's not because of the cholesterol. The cholesterol is there to repair things. Tell that to the next knucklehead who wants you on a stand drug. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. On the bright side, I'm Farm Suspen. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or health conditions you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you have any comments or if you have a success story you'd like to share, if you have got questions about anything we're speaking about here today, glyconutrition. Glyconutrition, by the way, plays a really important role in the health of the skin, which we will be, we will be talking about. And I have not forgotten to talk about the cell membrane and the skin cell membrane. Skin is, uh, like any other organ in the body, is dependent on the health. The health of the skin is dependent on the health of the cell. And just like all diseases, cell disease, all skin health challenges, even your dry skin is a cell problem. And that's why we're spending so much time, time talking about the cell itself. You can't have a healthy body if you don't have a healthy cell. And if you don't know how to make a healthy cell, we're going to end up buying nutritional this and nutritional that and silliness, silly nutritional products and health products because we don't understand what the heck's happening. That's the reason why all this stuff is so important. It's not just because I like talking about it, which I do like talking about it. 
And it's not so much because it's fun to listen to sometimes, for some of you anyway, I presume, for if you're listening to it, you find it interesting and fun. It's more than that. Learning about the cell is about so we don't get ripped off, so we can understand how to leverage nutritional supplementation correctly, so that we can use nutritional supplementation correctly, so we don't fall for silly fads. Somebody asked me yesterday, I got a call about bottled water, or about structured water, I should say. You want to know what I thought about structured water? Structured water is a classic example of a silly scam that doesn't take it, that doesn't that that takes advantage of how little we understand about our bodies. So we fall for it. Yeah, the body's water is structured inside the body. That's true. That doesn't mean you drink it and you're going to get help your structured water. It's like uh, there's all kinds of silly scams out there, health scams that we fall for. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls here in just a sec. From, uh, from, doo -doo -doo, where I can't even read, I don't know where, oh, the journal Circulation Research. New study links our gut bacteria with our cholesterol and our body fat levels. I've been saying this for years. This is such an important link to health. Fat absorption, of course, if you listen to this program, you know I talk about fat absorption all the time. How we handle our fats is critical at the digestive system level for anti-aging, for reversing disease or preventing disease. But fats are tricky. And as we get older, we don't handle our fats. This is one of the reasons why we get in fatty liver disease. We don't handle our fats correctly. If you had your gallbladder out, it's even worse. If you have any intestinal problems, you're not going to handle your fats correctly. This is, the, this is the real health challenge that we want to be focusing on, not stopping our body from making cholesterol, which is the stupidest, with a capital S, health strategy, big pharma scamola to come down the pike. And that's saying something, because there's lots of them. It is the stupidest. This whole, if you have, under, have a tiniest understanding about biochemistry, which you do on this program if you've been listening, you know that this cholesterol hypothesis is stupidity with a capital S that you're going to poison your cholesterol system, shut down your cholesterol system, and be better off for it. That cholesterol is the cause of heart disease. Now, blood fats, how we process fats, cholesterol being a fat, that is important. And as it turns out, our probiotics play a major role. Our good bacteria play a major role in how we process fats. This is from, uh, this is from the journal Circulation Research, uh, September 2015. New study just published in the journal Circulation Research has found that a possible, a possible link between certain strains of gut bacteria and participants' level of triglycerides. If you have a blood fat issue or cholesterol issue, work on your gut. First point in the tri <coughs> triangle of disease. Get on a probiotic like the Nightly Essence. Use fiber. Fiber helps feed those probiotics, helps sustain fiber acts as a prebiotic. Make sure you're eating your veggies, fermented veggies. Make sure you're getting your nitrates from vegetables and nitrites from vegetables. Yes, nitrates and nitrites are very important for keeping the microbiome, the universe of bacteria healthy. And stay away from toxins like sugar, which throws off the microbiome. Chlorine doesn't help, by the way, and fluoride doesn't help either. And certainly antibiotics that we take can wreak havoc on the colon. From the Journal of Internal, uh, European Journal of Internal Medicine, medicinal cannabis, marijuana that is, is safe and effective. It's time to reboot research. Medicinal cannabis is safe and effective in pain relief, and researchers are calling for the treatment to be properly established in our modern medical arsenal. Yes, they want to make it a drug. But hopefully not a drug company drug, although I wouldn't be surprised. By the way, former Speaker of the House, big-time anti-pot guy, totally opposed, increasing sentences, prison sentences, supporter of increasing prison sentences for people uh, who got caught with pot, now all of a sudden has said that his thinking on cannabis has evolved, and he's going to join the board of the advisors of Acreage, uh, he, the board of advisors of Acreage Holdings, a corporation formerly known as High Street Capital Partners that operates cannabis cultivation, processing, and dispensing. John Boehner is now a pot dealer. How do you like that? <laughs> There's lots of money. That's what it is. You know, ever hear the saying, follow the money? There's lots of money here. That's what John Boehner sees. That's why his thinking on cannabis has evolved. That's a quote. All right, let's see. Speaking of cannabis, uh, it's, oh, you know what? I think I read that one. Coffee and, coffee and cannabis, actually. Coffee plays a role. Uh, coffee uh, actually turns out that it helps you metabolize cannabis. Breakdown products. Helps you break down cannabis. Scientists have discovered that coffee affects your metabolism in, in many ways, including your, the metabolism of steroids and neurotransmitters linked to cannabis reports a new study from Northwestern Medicine, which tells you 
if you want to come down off your marijuana, you do a little too much marijuana, drink some coffee. All right, one more thing, one more article here, and then we'll get to your, uh, get your calls. 844-236-6010. The effect of vitamin E on cortisol levels. Vitamin E is one of the all-time great anti-cortisol vitamins. We do not get enough vitamin E unless we're supplementing. It's only found in high concentrations in grain oils, seed oils, and of course we all know the problems with seed oils. Wheat germ oil is probably the highest, or sunflower oil also or high sources of vitamin E. You gotta eat a lot of sunflower oil and a lot of, and a, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, uh, wheat germ oil to get your vitamin E. You gotta eat a lot of wheat germ and you gotta eat a lot of sunflowers to get your vitamin E. But you can take 400 IU of it a day and be way better off for it, especially if you're dealing with spiked cortisol. And who isn't dealing with problems with cortisol? So get yourself on some vitamin E, 400 international units a day of vitamin E is a good place to be. There's two kinds of vitamin E. You want them both, the tocotrienols and the tocopherols. Those are the four, two forms of vitamin E, and they're both important. Supplement with them both. 844-236-6010 is our number. Uh, sorry, Lisa, I just hit the wrong button. I apologize. They got the buttons really close to each other on this board. Call me back, Lisa, and I will uh, get you first up. I apologize. Uh, Dorium in Virginia. Good morning. What's up, buddy? Uh... Dorian? Hey, yeah. what's up, Dorian? How you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. I uh, was just calling regarding the um, pharmaceutical omega threes. Oh my, yeah, I love that one. It's, it's a drug now. How'd you know about that? Well, my doc, my primary care prescribed it to me, and I wasn't sure how safe they were, so I said I better ask you. It's just omega three. It's a it's a patented omega three. They took them all. This is how drug companies work. They took the molecule, omega-3, and they tweaked it, and they patented it, and they made it into a drug. Same stuff you get in fish oil, except it's a drug version. And because it's tweaked, it's not the same thing. And then they, they did a couple studies, and they found they got results, and then they sold it as a drug. And I, I'm trying to be kind here. We'll say less than well-informed practitioners will prescribe it when they could easily be giving you fish oil for a lot cheaper and, and, and getting a lot more benefits. Hang on. We'll finish up, Dorian, when we come back from a break, okay? I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We have lines open for you. We'll be back after this. Okay, we're back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to Dorium about... Our fake omega-3 or our big pharma omega-3. What was your question, Dorian? Yeah, I just wanted to know how safe they were for Oh, it's safe. I, I'm sure. Well, I shouldn't say that. I don't know if it's safe or not. It's a, it's a new entity. You know, when the body has these new entities, what, what it does with it, I don't know. I don't really know what's, you know, nobody really knows. They do the trials, I suppose, and they determine it's safe. And it is basically the same molecule, but it's a little tweaked. I, I can't say that, that it's safe or not. Um, it's drug, I could say that, and if it's a drug, it's going to have toxicity and side effects. But I don't know how much different it is, functionally, that is, from regular omega-3s. But why deal with it? Why don't you just get, take straight omega-3s? What's the point? Yeah. Right? I, since I had them, I wanted to know if I could use How much both. did you pay for them, by the way? Well, I, um, I, it, I only had to give a copy of, like, a, a Oh, you got copays. Was it the Loveza? Yeah. Which one was? There's, there's a few of them now. Um, I, oh, you don't know. I, I don't even know, really. Okay. Yeah, I they all got in. The first one came out a few years ago, and since then, uh, there's been a, th a few more, I think three or four more, that have kind of uh, been a jumped into the fray to deal with. And they, by the way, they use these omega-3s for, for cholesterol and heart disease. Uh, obesity, diabetes, these, that's kind of, those kinds of things. Oh, like metabolic syndrome is what they generally call it, which is interesting because what does that tell you? It tells you, obviously, omega-3 fatty acids are important for helping you deal with or prevent all of these health issues. Metabolic, uh, metabolic syndrome affects 100 million Americans or so. That means 100 million Americans will be benefiting by taking their omega-3 fatty acids, which you get, by the way, in your ultimate EFA and ultimate EFA+. Plus as well as getting from fish and grass-fed beef and grass-fed anything and eating grass and eating veggies. Veggies, by the way, green veggies are one of the all-time good, great sources and very uh, 
very underappreciated sources of omega-3s. And while I'm on the subject of omega-3s, I should tell you, DHA and EPA, which many of you have heard of, they're so-called fish oil omega-3s, are not essential. Essential ones are only found in grains and seeds and grasses and seafood and certain and seafood in general that eat the algae, that is, the basically algae and grasses. Um, they're, they're, uh, the DHA and EPA from fish oil are important, but they're not essential. Your body can make them, although most of us don't make enough of them. I'm not saying they're not important. They're just not essential. Anything else, Dorian, you want to add? That pretty much sums it up. I don't want to hold up the line. Okay, good. I appreciate okay. that. Thank you Go so ahead. much. Have a, have a great day. Thanks for you calling. Too. Okay, let's get Lisa back up. Sorry I hung up on you there. Lisa, good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm doing good. I had a question about some products. First, I want to tell you that I handed out your, your listen line and the information I have. I mean, I, I think I should make up cards and start oh, handing them out. Thank because you. Because people are really asking about, you know, you mention anything to them. They say, yeah, I have this, and the doctors don't know, and I immediately hand out your, your information thank to you. them. I wanted to let you know that. But, I appreciate um, my that. My question is, uh-huh, and um, well, I appreciate what you do, too. Um but um, my question is, when I'm trying to explain, like, the autoimmune um, or the immune boosters, supplements, and that kind of thing, there's so many words, like you like to say, that the, the descriptive word, like, boost, support, oh, yeah. um, if you, you know. So what is that? Let's say, you know, I guess I can compare it to people see products with vitamin K, but they're on blood thinners, so it works against. So about um, the immune, it should be more of a product maybe like the cell shield with immune modulation compared to boosting the immune because of, let's say, I'm on prednisone right now, unfortunately, and okay. until I get that inflammation down. Um, well, it's shutting down your immune system, you know, the prednisone is making your immune, it, it, that's the way it works, not just inflammation, yes, that's true, but the immune system and inflammation are kind of the same thing. Inflammation is how the immune okay. system does its work, so anti-inflammatories are anti-immune. They're not immune boosters, they're immune suppressors. So you're on an immune suppressant, right. basically. Right. So you really want to make sure you're using immune boosters. But here's the thing about immune boosters. You don't need any special immune boosters, in my humble opinion. You don't need a lot of products, in my humble opinion. And that's why I don't really talk about, you know, I love the longevity products because they're so simple and easy and effective. But I don't talk about a lot of the different products because you don't need a bunch mm -hmm. of products. You, need, you know, vitamin right. C is the best immune booster on the planet. Plain old ascorbic acid. And by the way, for anybody out there who thinks that ascorbic acid is not vitamin C or who's heard that silliness being just spewed out about ascorbic acid not being vitamin C, if you, if you ever hear that, those are people that don't understand biochemistry. Ascorbic acid is vitamin C, period. Yes, it works better when it's in nature. That's true. But it's still, ascorbic acid is vitamin C, and it's the best, capital T, the best immune-boosting supplement there is, and it's cheap on top of everything else. So you don't need anything special. B-complex is important for immune boosting. To take an immune booster that's got, you know, echinacea in it or, or um, astragalus in it or, you know, these are the kinds of things they put in these immune boosters, mushrooms, reishi mushrooms. To take an immune booster supplement without having enough vitamin C and magnesium and B vitamins and, and copper and zinc and all the things your body uses to build the immune system, it's just, it's a waste of money. It's a waste of time. It's silly. And it's not fair for anybody to, to push those kinds of products. In my humble opinion, IMHO, in my humble opinion. It's not, it's not right to push this. Does astragalus root help the immune system? Yes, of course. But not if you don't have enough vitamin C, not if you don't have enough magnesium, not if you don't have enough copper. Get on the Mighty 90. If you're not on the Mighty 90 and you're trying to take an immune booster, not only is it not going to work as well, your immune booster is not going to work as well, but uh, you're, it's very likely to not work at all if you don't have enough, enough of the, the raw materials, the building blocks. I'm sorry, yeah, I, I, I guess didn't mean... I, I, Go ahead. I was just confused on, like, right now, um, like I said, I have to be on the prednisone until I can get off of that, but um, to get the inflammation down to get off of it. So if the prednisone is dampening down the inflammation, maybe I have it, the immune system and inflammation mixed up there, but um, so if... There's synonyms. Damping, yeah, They're essentially that, the that same. Is, yeah. So I didn't what do you ask? What's your question, though, yeah. Lisa? Do you have a, Do you have a question? Are you asking me something? I can't. I can't. I can't find a question in there. Or is there one? Okay. Is if you're if you're on something like prednisone to dampen down the inflammation yeah. or the immune uh, the immune response, so you yeah. can handle the pain or whatever the condition is, until you can get that fixed. Um, are what is are these 
is an immune modulator. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not understanding your question. Of all these different things. I, I, I totally don't understand. If there's a question in there, I can't find it. So can you say, a, or do you have a question for me? If you're, that's not, if you're just making a point, that's great. Yeah, no, it was just immune modulation. I was confused on there, There's no modulation. such thing. That's just made up. It's, there's, you don't modulate the immune system. I mean, there's things you do. Modulate means to have an effect on. There's things you do that have an effect on the immune system, but you don't generically have an effect on the immune system. You have a specific effect. You boost the immune system with raw materials like vitamin C and vitamin E and vitamin D and vitamin A and zinc and, and magnesium and copper, all the things I just talked about. You, you support immune health. You modulate this, the immune system the negative way with sugar. Sugar is, is one of the main ways we modulate the immune system in a negative way. We shut down the immune system with sugar. We modulate the immune system. You're on an immune modulator right now. Prednisone is a powerful immune modulator, except it's modulating it the wrong way. To modulate just means to turn it. It's like a dial. When you modulate something, you're turning, turning it on or off like a dimmer switch on a light. That's what modulation is. It's a dimmer switch. You know, you turn the dimmer switch to the right, it goes bright. You turn it to the left, it goes dark or it, it gets less bright. And that's modulation. Immune modulation is like a dimmer switch. You turn the dimmer switch, immunity dimmer switch up, and you got, you got more inflammation. You turn the immune, or you're stronger. See, that's another thing. And I'm, this might be what you're asking me here. When the immune system is weak, it's more jumpy. You follow me? It's not as powerful and yeah. robust. It becomes more jumpy. It attacks. So by making it more powerful and robust, it's like a big karate champion who does, knows he doesn't have to you know, freak out whenever there's an attack. He can just do one or two moves and knock out, knock out the bad guy. When the immune system is weak, it gets real freaky. You know, it's like, it's like when people feel insecure. When people feel insecure, they're jumpy. They get angry real quickly. Somebody who's angry gets angry real quickly is feeling weak. Somebody who's feeling really strong and confident doesn't need to get angry really quickly. Follow me? It's like the immune system, yeah. same way. When the immune system is weak, it gets jumpy. It's like a little guy who's been beat up a lot. He gets freaked out, and, and he jumps. When I was a kid, I got mugged a couple times. I grew up in New York City, and I grew, got mugged a few times. And, and when you get mugged a few times, you know, eventually you get really jumpy. Every time somebody just steps behind you, you just turn around real quickly. That's a, that's a weak immune system. that make sense? Did I explain that okay? Yes. All right. Yeah, and I think, yeah, you answered it, yeah. And then okay. just um, one more thing. Is there a water system or something besides tap water? I know you talk about good spring water. Get a Berkey, get a, get a Berkey water filter. Perky and they have, they, yeah, and they have these little home distillation things now, too. There's a lot of good water systems. You know, I talked about water a few months ago. I never really finished it up, but there's a lot of good. Uh, if you go to brightsidebend.com and go to the archive page and look up, wa uh, search for water, we spent a lot of time uh, probably three or four months ago talking about water. All right, that's it, Lisa. Okay. I got to go. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for the kind words. I appreciate it, and I hope I, I helped you out. And thanks for listening to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Check out our websites, brightsidebend.com, pharmacistben.com, and, and criticalhealthnews.com for uh, all the longevity products. And if you want to join the Bright Side Ben team. Love to have you on the team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business and help change the world with the power of nutrition. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you later, folks. Bye for now.